so in this question the carrier power is given a 400 watt carrier is modulated to a depth of 75% calculate the total power in the modulated wave so the carrier power pc is given uh, m is 0.75 modulation index is given or the modulation depth calculate the total power okay so we know this relation pt and uh, pc this relation pt by pc equal to 1 plus m square by 2 so note this relation pt by pc equal to 1 plus m square by 2 so you can substitute for the carrier power and the modulation index find out the total power in 12.5 watt take this problem so here the transmitter power is given pt value is given which is 10 kilowatt and modulation percentage is 60 percent you have to calculate the carrier power so use the same formula calculate the carrier power um, 8.47 kilowatt 8. 47 kilowatt 8.47 yes 8.47 kilowatt fine okay take this problem so here it is mentioned am dsbfc it means it is amplitude modulated double sideband full carrier it means our full am signal so we have two sidebands along with the carrier so that is uh, am double sideband full carrier modulator with carrier frequency FC equal to 100 kilohertz and maximum modulating signal frequency FM max is 5 kilohertz. Determine the frequency limits for the upper and the lower side band. So you have to find the upper upper side frequency and the lower side frequency, the bandwidth. And uh, upper and lower side frequency is produced when the modulating signal is a single tone frequency 3 kilohertz. So here we have one more uh, modulating frequency. So this is one modulating frequency FM max and we have one more modulating frequency for this modulating frequency, we are supposed to find the two sidebands, upper and the lower side frequencies. Then finally, draw the spectrum comprising both the sidebands, both with, with respect to both uh, frequencies, modulating frequencies, we need to draw the output frequency spectrum. Okay. So first, we have the carrier and the message frequency or the modulating frequency. Find what are the frequency limits. So find the upper and the lower sidebands. What will be upper and lower sidebands? 105 and 95 kilohertz. So FC plus FM, FC minus FM. Okay. So this is uh, lower side frequency, which is 95 kilohertz. Upper side frequency is 105 kilohertz. So we have the spectrum like this. So draw the spectrum for this corresponding frequencies. Mention the carrier frequency and upper side band and lower side band. Okay. So next, what will be the bandwidth? Twice of FM max. What will be the bandwidth? 10. 10 kilohertz. So or you can take the difference of FC plus FM and FC minus FM. So which is 10 kilohertz. So if there is another frequency, modulating frequency of 3 kilohertz, what will be the upper and the lower side bands? 103 and 97. 103 and 97 kilohertz. So now you can mention in the spectrum with respect to both modulating frequencies. So you have to you so something like this. Mention the two upper sidebands and the two lower sidebands. Now, uh, if uh, we have more than one sine wave, modulation by several sine waves, so what will be the corresponding modulation index and what will be the corresponding voltage? So if V1, V2, etc. be the simultaneous modulating voltages, then the total modulating voltage, Vt, will be the square root of sum of the squares of the individual voltage. So when, when we want to calculate the total uh, Vm, or it is the voltage, modulating voltage, so this is represented as Vt, which is uh, sum of the squares of the individual voltages. So root of V1 square plus V2 square plus etc. So it depends on how many uh, modulating signal we have. Okay. So take this equation. So now... So now let us calculate what will be the corresponding modulation index. So this VT represents the total modulation, uh, modulating voltage. So uh, we, we, when we want to calculate modulation index, we are supposed to divide by VC. VM by VC will give the modulation index. So we are going to divide by VC on both sides. And uh, so this VC is taken inside the root. So here, uh, root of v, uh, VC square. So the corresponding uh, modulation index, the total modulation index will be root of m1 square plus m2 square plus etc. So this will be the individual modulation index. 
for the uh, individual sine waves with respect to individual sine waves so take this uh, expression for the total modulation index which is root of m1 square plus m2 square plus etc in this equation vt and mt equation Okay. okay so we'll do some uh, so if you want you can remove the square root and square on both sides and uh, this is called transmission efficiency so we are we are it is represented as eta so it's the amount of useful power in an am wave so eta is defined as the sideband power divided by the total power and we are expressing in terms of percentage so it is sum of the squares of uh, sum of the uh, sideband power divided by the total power so we are uh, we are substituting this expression for the upper sideband and the lower sideband if you add it is m square by 2 into pc divided by the total power pc into 1 plus m square by 2 so after after simplifying we have uh, m square by 2 plus m square so this is called the transmission uh, efficiency uh, take this uh, expression for eta oh. so now uh, take this problem double side band full carrier wave with peak unmodulated carrier voltage that is the carrier voltage is 10 volt load resistance rl is 10 ohms modulation coefficient m equal to 1 calculate the power of the carrier and the upper and the lower side bands so we need to calculate the carrier power lower side band power upper side band power then the total side band power total power then finally draw the power spectrum okay so we'll do one by one so vc is given and the modulation index is also given load resistance is given calculate the carrier power pc by watts by watts right okay so now you calculate the sideband power so both the sidebands are equal so you can uh, calculate upper and lower sideband equal to how much what's the expression to calculate uh, sideband power M square by four into uh, V square by four into V C square by two R. Okay. One point two five. One point two five watt. Fine. So now, what will be the total sideband power? So this is for the single sideband. That is the individual sideband. Total sideband will be twice twice of the individual sideband. Two point five. Two point five watt. Okay, total sideband power is two point five watt. What will be the total power? Seven point five. So it will be the sideband power plus the carrier power. So it is PC plus upper and the lower sidebands. So this is around seven point five watt. Now you can mention the spectrum, power spectrum, and mention the values of the power in the lower and the upper sidebands and the total power. Carrier power, upper and the lower side one power mentioned in the spectrum. So this is the spectrum, power spectrum. So we are drawing power versus frequency. So here you can mention the power of the lower and the upper side bands and the carrier power. So this is the for the frequency spectrum. So if fre uh, frequency spectrum is asked, you have to mention the frequency, upper side and lower side frequency. and the corresponding amplitudes of the frequency in this uh, frequency spectrum take this problem 20 sin 2 pi 10 power 3t so this is the uh, normal uh, sine wave is represented as the uh, vm sin fm into t or uh, sin 2 pi uh, fm into t vm sin 2 pi fm into t or sin omega t omega mt so here this is given as 2 pi into fm so this 10 power 3 it represents fm frequency of the modulating signal it is used to modulate a carrier signal 40 sin 2 pi 10 power 40 so this is represented as uh, 2 pi into fc into t so this is around 10 kilohertz and the uh, modulating frequency is uh, 1 kilohertz calculate the modulation index first uh, here vm and vc are given 20 volt and 40 volt so uh, how do you calculate the modulation index Yeah. Vm by Vc. Vm by Vc. So what is m value? Point. Point five. Point five. Right. So percentage of modulation you have to multiply with hundred. So which is fifty percent. So m is point five. Percentage of modulation is fifty percent. Okay. Next, 
it is asked to calculate frequencies, upper side and the lower side frequencies and their amplitudes. So what is FC plus FM and FC minus FM? Yes, what is the upper and the lower side frequencies? 9 kilohertz, 11 kilohertz. 9 and 11 kilohertz, fine. So uh, what is the amplitude? Okay, calculate the ca uh, amplitude of the side bands and the carrier carrier amplitude is given already we see it is 40 volt so what will be the amplitude of the side bands you see the spectrum we have mentioned mvc by 2 see this is mvc by 2 is the amplitude so we have also uh, this mvc by 2 in the am equation right so this is the coefficient along with the upper and the lower side bands so this calculate mvc by 2. 10 10 volt Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So next, uh, you are supposed to calculate uh, bandwidth. What will be the bandwidth? Either you can calculate twice FM or the difference of the two side bands. It's how much? Two kilohertz. Two kilohertz. So bandwidth is two kilohertz. Next, uh, you are supposed to draw the power spectrum. Okay. So for drawing the power spectrum, you need to calculate what is the carrier power and the sideband power. Okay, so you calculate PC first. PC value. So here uh, the resistance value is not given. You can uh, take it as one ohms. If resistance R value is load resistance is not given, you can assume it as one ohms. Okay, VCC square by 2R. Carrier power, you can simply take it as VC square by 2. How much? 800 watts. 800 watts. 800 watts. Okay, okay. So now you can calculate the sideband power. How much? 50 watt. Okay. So now you can mention in the spectrum the carrier power and the sideband power. Mention the frequency, upper side, lower side frequency, carrier frequency, everything in the power spectrum. Okay. Uh, take this problem and modulate it. It means this is the carrier power. The carrier unmodulated means it's the carrier power and 10.125 kilowatt when the carrier is sinusoidally modulated. This means it is the, after modulation, this is the total power, which is 10.125 kilowatt. Calculate the modulation index. So for the initial, uh, with the given carrier and the total power, we will calculate what is the modulation index. So we have the relation between the total power and the carrier power along with the modulation index. So let us calculate the modulation index. If, if say two more sine waves corresponding to 40 and 60% modulations are transmitted simultaneously, determine the total radiated power. So initially we have one modulation index. So we have two more modulations. So with the uh, 40 and 60%, we are supposed to calculate the total radiated power. So let us find the total power based on the three modulation index. Okay. For the first case, you find what is the modulation index. So PC and PT is given. First, find what is modulation index. So let us take it as M1. So this is M2 and M3. Take a calc one side, PT and PC on the other side. Substitute for PT and PC. Calculate M. 0.5. 0.5? M is 0.5. Okay. So now this, let us take it as M1. And uh, take 40% and 60% to be M2 and M3. So now what will be the total power? Total radiated power. So now first find what is the total modulation index based on M1, M2, M3. First find what is MT. Then we'll find what is PT. MT is 0.87. So now use this MT value in this uh, previous relation. That is a relation between PT and PC. And then you can find what is the total radiated power. Carrier power use the same value. So PT only will change. So MT and uh, PC substitute for MTS 0.887 and find what is the total power. 12.4 watts. 12. Point, yes, 12.46 kilowatts. Kilo 